In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Making a good confession in preparation for the celebration of Mercy Sunday, in which if you've made this good confession, then all of your sins are forgiven, as well as a temporal, temporal punishment for your sins is washed away, and your soul becomes white as the snow. It's as if you're being baptized a second time. So, just go through the five classical steps of making a good confession so that you can receive this extraordinary gift that Holy Mother Church wants to bestow upon you in the upcoming celebration, Solemnity of Mercy Sunday. The five steps. First, examination of conscience. Second, sorrow for your sin. Third, firm purpose of amendment. Fourth, confess all of your sins to the priest. Fifth, carry out the penance that was given to you by the priest. A word on each of those. First, examination of conscience. Try to go through the Ten Commandments. Get a good confessional booklet, go through them, and write down the sins. Second, sorrow for sin. Beg for the grace to really have a contrite heart. There are two types of contrition. Imperfect, I'm not going to sin because I don't want to lose my soul. I don't want to go to hell. Perfect contrition is I don't want to sin because God loves me so much and I want to love him in return. And I don't want to do anything to hurt God. Third is firm purpose of amendment, which means you've made the decision to avoid the near occasion of sin. Avoid any person, place, thing or circumstance that could lead you into sin. Fourth would be that of confessing all of your sins to the priest who represents Christ. This means you have to mention the number of mortal sins and their species, their types. And the last would be after you have said your act of contrition and after you have received absolution from the priest who represents Christ, then carry out the penance. Carry out the penance that God has given to you through the priest. If you do that, all of your sins are forgiven. When you go to Mass on the solemnity of the Divine Mercy, then all of your sins will be washed clean. Your soul will become white as the snow. So, making good confessions are very important for us to receive the infinite mercy of the heart of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Let's turn to Mary. Among many titles that Mary has, says Mary, she is the mother of mercy. Let's ask Mary to help us to make good confessions so that we can receive the infinite mercy of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. Amen. <laughs>